Hello, hello, my blue heart crazy Atty Bummer. So welcome, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. It's Megan, your ultimate pageant buddy. I'm Atty Bang 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 Hello, hello, and we are still here in our throwback series while we are waiting for the updates for the 2022 beauty pageants. For today's video, we are going to react to Miss Grand International 2016 from Indonesia, Ariska Putri Pertiwi's full performance. I know you're excited. I am super duper excited as well. So let's get started. But before that, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell to get notified every time I have a new upload. Let's get started. Okay guys, let's watch this video. Ariska. The winner is Indonesia. Indonesia. Oh yeah, she won the best national costume. What is her costume? Oh, I I remember. It's like she has a very long tail, a trail, and there are some like what do you call that? Yeah, her nails are long. Am I right? And then she has this very big uh, back back piece, and it's like blue. Am I right? Am I right? Yes, I think I'm right. She has this very long nails and then she's the one who did this, right? And then she has a long trail and with some buildings like a miniature of um, of Indonesia's um, buildings, just like that. If I remember, if I'm if I'm right. And yes. Indonesia. Wow, charming smile. I like her styling in here. Indonesia. Wow. Indonesia is 21 years old and she is part of a medical faculty since 2012. Her hobbies include traveling and modeling. Wow. Look at her body. She's very tall and slender. I like the color of her skin. And as well, all I can say is that her styling in here looks like perfect. So, so perfect. She tick all the boxes. I love the big volume of hair on the side and some curl. She is just so beautiful in here. Stunning. And her body. I like it. She looks really slender. And her aura and her catwalk is really powerful as well. See, the eyes is screaming for a crown. That's why she won. Oh, I love that. I love that. I love that. I love <laughs> I love that. So perfect. I love that. Oh, beautiful smile. I like that gorgeous, Next, gorgeous. To pass into the top ten is Indonesia. Mm -hmm. Oh, here we have also Madison, right? And Nicole for Davis of the Philippines, where they are like the last two standing. It's a very tough fight between Philippines and Indonesia in this year. I think it's because this is her night. She's shining during the final competition. Okay, let's listen to her speech. War, suffering, death. These are the words that hang more than 30 million children victims of war. They suffer as a result of intolerance and wars around the world. I come from a military family. My father is Indonesian military officer. So mm. I have told since I was a child that war is this for everything. The victims of war are suffering. 
Okay, so, so I think she has a little bit of accent of Indonesian, right? So not like a native speaker. All I can say is that um, her backstory, her experience when she said about that her father is part of the military thing, and then and she relate this to the pageant's advo advocacy or main objective, which is to and the war and stop the war and violence i mean she nailed it these are separate or killed they don't have a safe place to live they have to escape from death i want to ask you one question what are we fighting for and why please look at them look at the victims of war and the children they lose their homes they lose their parents they lose their dreams we should live in peace so let's come together as one in unity let's come together to make this world a better place because i believe with the heart sincerity and hand in hand we can give hope for them and with the hope and work together we can stop the war so please stop the war and choose peace thank you okay well, we all know that they prepared for this speech, so of course they have uh, in advance before this this segment. They already have this uh, speech in their mind. They they memorize it. They practice it so well, and the way she deliver it is very genuine. It's natural, and uh, you know that uh, there is a conviction. The way she pronounced the words is just so uh, believable. I mean, I, I I'm 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 trying to. To, to digest it in my own and I can say oh yes oh yes I, I am agree I am convinced with what she is saying and the way she the way she expressed herself is just so calm she's confident and uh, yeah I like the content of her message though uh, others just like very pageant patty uh, the some words are very pageant patty but it's really sound right and the content is full that's why I think she's considered as the winner for this night. And of course my favorite, the evening gown. Oh yes. This gown is uh, iconic. It's a little bit of mermaid and look at the patterns. It was really designed for her. Fit like a glove and so beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, there is only one last name on this card. And that name is Indonesia. So gorge. Of course, Nicole Cordovez is really a tough competitor from the Philippines. We all know that. Nicole is such a great speaker. So it's a very hard question for me, but I will choose. If I have a chance to choose, I will choose Hillary Clinton. She's a very smart woman, independent woman, and brave woman. That's why I will choose her to work together with me. And I believe if I and Madam Clinton work together, I believe I can stop the war. And I ask the people to join with us to stop the war and violence. So I choose her to work together with me to stop the war and violence. Thank you. So the question is very controversial that we all know that but honestly i am not uh convinced with her answer i am not surprised i am not i'm not convinced i'm not 100 percent convinced i think that it's the the answer is very shallow the answer is yeah it's coming from her heart it's it's her opinion and i think um it's not that too deep, right? But I don't know. She won this competition because it's her night, maybe. Because they see something uh, other than the Q final Q&A. 
So if I am if I will be the judge, I think I of course I will choose Nicole Cordovis as the winner if we are basing on the final question. But I think uh, because uh, they 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 let Ariska Putri Pratiwi of Indonesia win because they see something in her that that the others doesn't have, right? It's her night. And we as an audience, we can see what's happening in the backstage, right? We all know that every time that we are surprised with the winner. And I think Ariska is a well-deserved queen during this night. Even though I'm a Filipino and I'm rooting for Nicole Cordovis because she did pretty well in the evening and the final Q&A, of course, I'm cheering for I'm cheering for Nicole Cordovis. She must be our like first, very first Miss Grand International Crown. But yeah, Ariska is a deserving winner as well. So that's it. Of course, and his name cheering for Nicole there Cordovis. Contestants left: Indonesia and Philippines. We're at the final moment. This is very the painful for us. Of the entire evening. evening. Here we go. Are you both breathing still? No, I guess my lung is at half capacity. No. <laughs> oh. All right, ladies, here we go. Are you ready? And Miss Grand International. 2016 is Indonesia. Yes. Now this means if for any reason the new Miss Grand International cannot fulfill her duties, the first runner-up will come forward and complete her role as Miss Grand National. Okay guys, honestly, I am so I'm so sad. I'm so hurt because, of course, I'm a Filipino and I'm cheering for Nicole Cordovis, but I am not the judge. We are not the judges. And yeah, we are happy for Ariska Putri Pertiwi of Indonesia for winning their first ever Miss Grand International crown. And I think she deserved it because she worked so hard for it. And of course, she trained so hard for this and she tried all her best from the swimsuit, the gown, every segment. And uh, even in the backstage, there are things that we didn't see. So congratulations for your first golden crown. And I hope next year, Philippines will also win our very first golden crown of MGI. So now I'm so happy watching this video because I have like a lot of realization. I know that uh, Ariska Putri Pertiwi is such a beautiful, good-hearted woman from Indonesia and we are happy for her win. Congratulations! Congratulations. And that evening gown is beautiful. It's iconic. You did it, Indonesia. That's how you say it. Aww. The golden crown and the green Please thing there. Give a round of applause Perfectly suited for her gown, right? The gown was designed for the crown. Wow. You did it, Indonesia. We really hope that we can also have our first golden crown. Beautiful. Will Andina Julie be the next, your next second? Andina Julie for the second crown? Let's see. You are the host country next year, this year. Don't Super go anywhere excited. yet. Your public wants to hear from you. Beautiful smile. I like her right smile. Now? I don't know. I feel, I feel nervous. Just breathe. Just breathe. Yes. All right. Breathe. So what do you want to say to your millions of fans watching right now all over the world? I just want to say thank you. Thank you very much. All my fans, all my supporters, my family. Thank you very much for you all. I, you guys are the best. Are you ready to travel the world and change the world as Miss Grand International? 
Yes, of course. I'm ready to work together with Miss Greater International Organization to stop the war violence. And I just want to say thank you for Mr. Nawat. Thank you for all the judges. Thank you for all everyone. Thank you so much. Indonesia, we did it. You did it. What a good night. You may now take your first walk as Miss Grand International 2016. Please, ladies and gentlemen, give her a round of applause. Give our Miss Grand International 2016 a round of applause. I hope everyone enjoyed the night. I look forward to seeing you in Vietnam on October 25th, 2017. Thank you again to all of our beautiful participants and to all of our fans watching. Have a wonderful night. Okay, that's it guys. Congratulations. And yeah, um, Nicole Cordovas as well from the Philippines. Congratulations for your first runner up. Now she's training other queens to be the best uh, version of themselves and she's really good at Q&A. So I'm also very proud of uh, our country's representative, uh, Nicole Cordovas. She did so amazing. Okay, and so the Philippines still really eager to win our first golden crown despite of the issues and everything about MG. GI well it's not all about who win it's all about how you perform I think so excited for the MGI uh, 2022 happening in Indonesia this year and yes I'm super duper excited I can't wait to see what do you think guys what is your thoughts about Ariska Putri Pertiwi's full performance. Let me know in the comment section below. And if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell to so get notified every time I have a new upload. See you again soon. Bye.